What's good? Maxie here. Risty and I are leaving LA, driving straight to Florida, 2,500 miles. Both of us are picking up RVs, but I am picking up my RV and driving it by myself from Florida to South Dakota. Baby, yeah. Stay tuned. About to be crazy. What's good? You know it. What's up? What's up? What's pop? What's cracking? We're T-minus. 20 minutes. Till take off. Digging up a little bit of concrete. Leaving a skid mark. Baby, there's the blade. Just on the sketchiest rig ever. But it's a Murano. It's got all-wheel drive. It's got chips on the rim. It's got sparks on the paint. Baby, yeah. Shout out Santa for hooking it up with the dopest, newest Santa momentum. Wow, she comes wrapped up, clapped up. Obviously, I wanted me to grab this first and admire the goods. Let's see how easy this is. Derpy derp derp. I'm gonna pull this one, nice. Pick correctly. Gorgeous unboxing, oh my god. There's Risky back there, but I believe this is gonna be his new helmet. This just isn't a helmet for racing. It's more so a helmet for communicating, but Ricky and I use it for both, baby. That's that, dope carrying bag. All right, I'm disoriented, pretty tired. It's 8.30 p.m. We've been driving for about uh, four hours. So I haven't made out of Cali. Over 100 degrees. Anyway, Risty's over here. My house holding up. It's looking like a sexy beat. We missed it. Evidently there's a Model T or as he said. Oh, Power Strokes Hong Kong coming through. He wants to show it off. Is it a Model T? We'll never know because we can't see it. We in Phoenix, we out you. Turbo Joe's. Um, I'd rather do McDonald's drive through. I think we should get gas though, too. I ain't a fan of McDonald's. You ain't? Uh, sometimes. Yeah, I like McDonald's. McDonald's! McDonald's! Oh, yeah. Two apple pies. Oh. That's it. Ersie's going with the apple loaders. Yum, 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 yum. All right. San Tony load. Here she blows. Everyone's smoking ciggies here, dude. I just saw two people straight pop. All right. Shout out, Texas. Shout out, Texas. Oh my god, we out here. We have Bucky's. It's the dopest gas station. Is this a gas dude. station? It's like the size of a grocery store. They got grills. They got bikes, dude. They got They're selling grills. They got everything, dog. They got bikes everywhere, man. There's a shadow over there. Uh, RV. Bucky's bumping, dude. Dude, Bucky's is what? Up. <laughs> that creaking's getting a little heavier every time we got. Uh. <laughs> Stop. Tallest gas station ever. Actually, no, dude. You remember that gas station we were at on the way to Chicago? Like right before we got there? Two carbon fiber sunglasses. Straight carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Oh my gosh. I don't know. It looks like a mall. Like a shopping mall. Dude, they sell Oakleys here. This is the most bomb gas station. They have their own swimsuits. What the load? What? Oh my gosh. Maybe I want to start here. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. <laughs> All right, we're right outside San Antonio at a little gas station. Ducked out in the back, have a little smoke. Come across this guy. Can you guys see that? You gotta get closer. What do you mean get closer? It'll... It's like a gauntlet for him. What? 
That's what he wants me to do. You think he has that entire pit to himself? Yeah, that's his pit, dude. The whole thing. Yeah. Why do you think he's that big, dude? He's been eaten. Imagine if that was crawling on your face at night, biting you. They don't just start biting you. <laughs> <laughs> We've been on the road for 24 hours yet? 24 hours on the road. Really? Um, yeah, we left way before this time yesterday. What do you mean? Yeah, it's been like 27, 28 hours on the road. It's 4.47. When do we leave? 3.30? Oh, maybe it has been 24 hours. Who knows? Christy is about to murk the spider with some piss. Well, I got a key. It was his idea. Yeah, you're going to piss all over this spider. I'm not going to piss on the spider itself. With the Max wrist shirt on. With the lens flare in the background. We got the most epic piss scene. <sighs> Can't even it's get hard it. to piss when I got somebody watching me. All right. Well, the whole world's watching. Well, now... Yeah. Two million people watching. I'm not really going to go that bad either. <laughs> so now you can't go? Um, hold on, just let me get a breather real quick. Risty was pissing in the car earlier. And I opened the door up All right, and he was like... Alright, I think like, I can go. You ready? Yeah, go. Oh! <laughs> I thought I had more pressure than that. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh. So we get the spider. Oh, the spider can smell it. Oh, <laughs> you drive for the marker. No, I didn't. It just came out like that. <laughs> you only have one shot at it. I did. <laughs> I messed it up. All right. I've got a special angle for you guys. Maxie's just got to pee. Uh, oh God, he's got a weak stream. Uh, oh no! I tried. The farter. Uh, oh my God, he's got nothing. Uh, he's got nothing. Uh, the spider is moving, getting hit with some backsplash, but uh, nothing. He doesn't know how to. Uh, to hold and uh, uh, release. I can't press. What if that's a home to a fellow animal? Your house what? Yeah, I had it kicked actually by that earthquake the other day, true? There you go. But I ain't no earthquake, so don't push me. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, this hurricane looks big. <laughs> it's chasing us currently, actually. Where are you running, boy? You gotta go? Yeah, <laughs> What? It's literally coming around on us, man. You don't see this? We're getting flanked. God, I'm so curious how this RV is gonna be. Oh yeah, here comes the rain. Here comes the hurricane. If we would have left a day earlier, a day later, we would have been seriously screwed. Oh shit. <laughs> Here's a big storm coming. There's dolphins? Flanked by the hurricane. Flanked by the hurloaders. Alabama mother chuckers. We're in uh, Pensacola, about to go through the tunnel. So you know what time it is. It's wheelie time. Just kidding. I hear not. We ain't gonna do no wheelie in the Murano. Maybe. I could just take the CBR off the back and bust it out real quick through this rain. No prob, but... Where's the tunnel? There's the tunnel. Oh, shit. Wicked. A wicked tunnel? All right, I'm doing the wheelie now. Let's go! Is this straight? Oh, my God. It's down. Downhiller? Downhiller killer? Wow, you can smash. Oh, uh, right. Top of the fucking wheelie. Pop the whole thing down and up. Wow, there's a 
son on the other side of the tunnel? Murder. What? Oh. Oh. Oh, we still got some fake rain. Fake rain? Fake rain comes through. What is the hurricane? Is a double rainbow? Just a double. I think it might be a double, man. I'm so out of it, though. <laughs> I might be seeing things. Max, you might have just seen a rainbow. Double rainbow. Double rainbow. Who knows? All right, yeah. This hurricane's coming. It's it's about to just get this whole area. Water's probably gonna be over the bridge. All right, just dropped Risty off. Now, here's what I'm doing. I'm taking my Murano, training for an RV that's got a certificate of death. And uh, driving that to South Dakota, maybe at. What's good? All right, Maxie here. Now, it's time for the impossible. Florida to South Dakota without registration, baby, yeah! What's good, Team Maxi here. I made it to Florida, got the RV. There she is, there she is. Airstream Land Yacht XL, baby, yeah! It's got some ants, but uh, I'm sure they'll get the picture here soon. Definitely have some killing to do, some annihilation, baby, yeah! But uh, yeah, pretty sick RV. I think it's gonna do the trick for me. Problem is, it's a uh, certificate of destruction, so I am riding completely dirty all the way to South Dakota and uh, should be interesting. So, what's good, MTV? Thanks for pimping my ride. Baby, hopefully no rain. Hopefully no rain. But uh, welcome to my new abode. Welcome to Maxie's new crib. What's up, man? This is my new house. You can't tell I'm smiling right now. Cause this sh dope, yo. What the? I am so stoked. I mean, this is my kitchen, my bedroom. I got a full bathroom up in here. What? What? Definitely needs a Febrezer for the teaser, for the pleaser. Oh, so if you see me cruising on the streets, say what's up. I don't plan on doing too much cruising, but. And I got this radio, man, what? Here we are. Maxie already has to do some engine work. I noticed as it was running the uh, that it was overheating. There wasn't any goddamn coolant in it. So here we go. I don't know how I'm gonna snipe this thing. It looks like it's like clipped in or something. Yeah. There's pins back there. Got old Bessie filled up with coolant. Now will old Bessie start and not overheat. 
This is the big question. Maxie's about to get her colloded. Well, Maxie done did it. Well, not completely yet. Uh, still driving. My windshield wiper overshot the uh, overshot the window, so that's gone now. Got a bogey coming on the right here. I've never really driven an RV, so here I am driving it from Florida to South Dakota in the next few days. So you guys can stick around with me. And this is the hurricane at the out, outer rings of it. So thankfully I should be able to get out of here before um, things start really getting bad. Ooh, hydroplane. All right, boys and gals, Maxi's RV just made some funny noises and shut off. <laughs> so. Yeah. Oh God. Oh God's right, boy. Tires look okay. Monster kill. Ooh, I take that back. This tire is absolutely. That tire blue. I mean, it looks like it's dry rotted to no end. But is it like flat? Basically. So you didn't lose the tire? I didn't lose it, but yeah, this tire's wow. blown. Yeah, it's blown the f out. <sighs> what do I do? Is there, where are you at? Just post it on the highway? No, I mean, I pulled over to gas station. Oh, okay. No, it's the tire for sure. Do I just take it off and run four? It's one of the double in the back. Is that safe? I don't know. I need if there's a spare tire or oh, I see a spare tire down here. Really? Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> yeah. Christ, dude, what aggro! Yeah, it's a complete tire. And rim, like a full wheel. Yeah, it's a full wheel. You can swap it. You got jacks. I would assume they come in here. I would assume it's all in it. I have the service manual. Got herself sprayed by a skunk. Dude, me, man. Fuck me. Dude. <sighs> well, no one ever said it was gonna be easy. I think the, the monkey found a tool. What did you find? Oh, yeah, baby. Wait, did you face that monkey? Just when I thought this could not get any dopa. I got two tools. All right, now what? There's a jack that auto, that I can grab onto somewhere. So how do I get it up? That's the question. You need to find a jack, dude. I don't think it's a jack. I don't think it's a jack. I think it auto jacks, maybe. Like the whole RV. Yeah, like you see that leveling jack right there? I don't think it's gonna be enough to lift off the ground. You could try it. <sighs> Leveling jack can't be the lift. They're not gonna be strong enough. They're not strong enough? No. So I need a jack, right? Yeah. Where's the jack? Dude, I don't even think this fits. No way. <sighs> Hold on, Lacey's calling. Are you okay? I mean, I'm trying to replace a tire right now. I'm underneath the RV. What's up? Well, it seems like your phone died. I thought your phone died. No. My phone's not dead. <sighs> <sighs> okay, Papa. Poor little Frida, it smells like skunk gill. I don't know, I have to Google it when I get home and then... Yeah, I'd, br then I'd run through options with Zach, he's good for helping figure that out. Okay. It's hard for me to talk right now. Okay, Bye.
<laughs> yeah, I'm making headway. It's definitely moving. Did you go look? Underneath? Yeah. 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 <sighs> This is a pain in my ass. So all this storage space, and they put it under the RV. I knew this was gonna happen. Dude, if I make it to South Dakota for my flight, I'll be mad impressed. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, I just need to lower it a little more. I'll be able to bring it out and cinch it back up, I guess. It doesn't look like any tools are attached to this, but. I need it now. All right. Tire, spare tire. Got it. Uh, mm. Jesus, Zach, this is so f heavy. This is absolutely f crazy. Okay, I got the tire. Nice. Well, Air Max he is. Not very far along. Still got that flight to catch. But I do have a blackjack. Baby, strict gold. I believe I just pump and dump. I think the more pumping I do, the more dumping happens. So I went into Walmart 24 hour. Cool, that doesn't work. That's an immediate return. I will keep the blackjack, because I foresee myself needing this. <sighs> well, homies, it's 4.30 a.m. at uh, in a Walmart parking lot, and I believe I am calling it a night. I'll wake up in the morning and try this again, so hopefully I can make it further. Words of wisdom to everyone. Mm. Words of wisdom. Always make sure you have nice tires. Uh, it's your boy Maxi here. It's 11.13 a.m. Cali time, so it's 2 something p.m. Florida time where I am. Didn't sleep much. It's like 100 degrees in here. I'm covered in sweat. Yeah, it's painful. Day five of traveling. Maxi's getting pretty fucked up. Will I make it? Who knows? I'm gonna try to limp it all the way to say this thing is limp is an understatement, yo. Do I need to click it or take it here in Florida? I doubt it. You only have to wear the helmets. One of you people take it right, you're gonna be with the wrong broski. Yeah, that's right. Ooh, I'm definitely gonna hit that. Swing wide's an understatement, boys and gals. Oh, God. Oh my god, yo. I'm on the road, went f***ing it all the way. All right, made it to the tire shop. Hopefully they can get through this. Maybe. Maxi gets new tires on the rig, baby, yeah. Let's look what Maxi was riding with. I thought it was gonna make it. I thought it was gonna make it all the way there. Freshy new tires on the whip. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> the rest of these are fake? Yeah, yeah, it's fresh as top speed run. Here we come. Are you sure you're spinning it? Is that the right bolt size? Are you sure it's not stripping? Like that, that lines up perfect. I don't, wait, hold on. I don't think. Uh, 
stop, stop. I don't know, man. Not going? Not really. All right, boys and gals, we're gonna see how much this, how good of miles per gallon this Airstream is. It's still going. Oh dear God, is it leaking? No, oh, it's not leaking. But dear Lord, this thing holds fuel. I was not expecting uh, sixty-five dollars here. I was not expecting the tank to be fifty gallons. It's over fifty gallons. But sixty gallon tank? Is there more? Okay, dear God, this ain't no joke. Ain't no joke. Ain't no, ain't no. Wow, 70 gallon tank? Or is this a 100 gallon tank? Is this leaking? 100? Is that not shady? What? Always swing your loads wide, boys. All right, top speed run, here we go, baby. I my kid and I was like, should I put my seatbelt on? And then I was thinking, I'm like, I'm in Florida, motherfucker. I don't need to wear no goddamn seatbelt. Just left Florida, finally out of this state. Holy sh Can't believe I'm still cruising, and I'm cruising fast, baby. Only one day of driving left. Wow, nice, 24 hours all by myself. Welcome to Georgia. Georgia Peaches, my sister was born in Georgia. What's good, baby? You know it, I'm in a RV, you know it, boy. This is the Maxi RV. It's a class A, baby. It's as big as you can fucking get. I'm going to a fan's house. I don't even know the guy. I just asked if anyone lived in South Dakota and could help me out storing my RV for a couple weeks. He said, hells yeah. My grandpappy's got this dope place and y'all can put your on there for a little bit. And I was like, I was like, thanks brother. Big trucking, big rig trucking. I call this one the Max Pass, baby. Let's get it. Whoa, got him. Anyway, Risty and I started GoFundMe, mainly just to help support us while we're doing this crazy stupid shit. I don't know how it's gonna go. I don't know how costly it's gonna be. I mean, I ran some numbers. And uh, yeah, your donations are really gonna make the difference in us traveling or not. Because right now we're gonna be stuck in South Dakota for a couple months because of bad monetization. YouTube has done a number. And uh, long story short, we need your guys' help. <laughs> 22 hours left, I at least had to crank to like four more. 21 hours left to get to my destination. M -m -m Max, you bitch! Uh, welcome to Atlanta where the players play and I ride on the streets like every day. Uh, 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 uh. Yo, yo. Welcome to Atlanta where the players play and we ride on them things like every day. I believe we are on the outskirts of the Smoky Mountains. Now entering Tennessee, baby. Well, got out of the Smoky Mountains. Made it out safely. Car didn't die on me yet. Whoa, Mustang, all out, baby. Gorgeous Midwest sunrise. I'm uh, lucky enough to still be awake at 5.30 a.m. in the morning, baby. We'll see, I'm only going another hour today and then I'm gonna crash, but I wish this seat had a built-in toilet so I could shit myself on command, baby. Uh, and I also haven't showered for five five days I think it's been about five days maybe more and I uh, I stink like an absolute ass so Max is going to Flying J's to uh, take a goddamn shower welcome to your skills training course Maxi oh my god this is sketch as hell Jesus wow sunrise in Nashville all right hi Nashville bye Nashville Obviously got a max pass. Dude, look at it. That bus is so small. I'm just murking the game. I'll tell you what, it feels weird now that when the sun comes out, I get tired. Now that I've gone nocturnal. Nashville's popping. That's what's up. That's what's up. They building. Looks nice. Looks green. In and out. Just like that. Bye bye, Nashville. Big trucking. Big rig trucking. Big trucking. So much 
much life here. I haven't seen a place this green since being in Cali. And I ain't talking about being outdoors. <laughs> I need to get like a 12 hour shift during tomorrow. All right, all right, kidding. Wow, Tennessee, you win. Coolest highways I've seen, Tennessee. This 24 West is one of the coolest. Arizona was dope because of how the highways all work together and how smooth they were and how many lanes there was, how many lanes there are. But on the other hand, this is gorgeous and there's no aggro of cops going in the other direction gunning you. There's probably places where you can hide out around here, but that section right there was fair game. Balls out. Oh God, for some reason the RV just kicked off going up this hill. I don't know if it's had enough or what. That was sketchy. It's doing it again. God. Come on. I'm fine. Oh my god, how do you go this far and then just die on me?
some fun. I gotta install this battery right now. All right, let's do this. tool. with
I'm gonna have to limp dick it yet again. Great. Well, hopefully you guys get to see this video and I'm not in jail or dead. I am extremely flustered. I don't know what I'm gonna do right now. I have one tool and that's a monkey wrench. I think the fucking things, I think this is the engine. I gotta get to it, dude. It's hard to even look at an engine. Is there another one on here? Oh, here we go. I've never seen something so beefy. This engine's big bro I'm lost any ideas well, this is interesting Jesus Christ all right so you see this right here yeah what's what did that, what does that connect to? It's definitely a connection issue somewhere. Should I try it again with this open? Yeah, it'll hurt. Great. Well, it's cranking hard. Yeah, that's close. 
Maybe I'm out of gas. I mean, that, that's, it sounds like that's what you, it sounds like you're out of gas. God, couldn't have been any more comical, dude. That's ridiculous. That's like almost like it was supposed to happen. So if it doesn't have gas, dang, I just found a dopey fairing out here. <laughs> Breaking down on Maxi Road. I passed like thousands of exits. <sighs> People are gonna think this is a load of sh Gas! Good morning. <laughs> Do you sell gallons of water by any chance? Thank you. Do you sell knives? No? Yeah, anything. I'm in a bit of a rush. Uh, my vehicle broke down the highway. You take debit? Oh. Uh, just this. And then uh, one of your pumps, five dollars, four dollars, uh, three dollars. Oh, you ran out of gas? Yeah. I've got a gas jug you can borrow as long as you bring it back. I will, I'll come right back here and fill up. Thank you so much. Actually, you on the road. <laughs> oh my god. Huh. After driving for 10 hours isn't enough. Gotta run out of gas. I hope to god this is going in. I need something to like keep the nozzle open. Moment of truth. I need to pray to Lord Jesus Christ right now. Does it need more gas? The gallon should fill the line at least. I put in half of it. I gotta like create a funnel or something. Got battery acid in my wound. <laughs> we in business, boys. We in my in business. Jarvis in the clutch. Shout out Jarvis. Dude, thank you. Alright, All right, peace. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Thank you, I have the gas tank. Thank you, you saved my life. Appreciate it. Now I'm gonna fill up as much as possible. Thank you. I'm gonna need it. <laughs> I'm gonna need all the luck I could get. Oh my God, yo. Lucky dime, baby. So initially I put 30 gallons in and I figured this thing would at least have a 60 gallon tank. I don't know, we're about to find out right now. 35 gallon tank, 40 gallon tank, 40 gallon sack. Or is this only letting me fill up to 100 bucks again? $100 limit? 
This has been the most fun trip of my life. <laughs> give me a, give me a flying jade. I am struggling, everyone. I am on a serious struggle bus. Haven't given up yet. <laughs> oh my God, I haven't given up yet. On, on the road, road again. again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. God, oh Lord, oh Lord. Ha, oh, everybody. Appreciate you guys watching these videos that aren't necessarily balls to the walls on motorcycles. You guys enjoy these uh, somewhat of lifestyle like videos. Thanks everyone who has also hit the GoFundMe. And thank you patrons also. The bike is still being built by the way. The R1 is still a thing. A lot of people think it's done or over. It's far from that. Please have a shower Flying J. Thank you everyone for being dope. I'm gonna take a nap here and throw on the camera when I wake up. All right, peeps, Max here at six, it's 8 p.m. I need keys. Hopefully this bad boy doesn't to make it the final stretch. Starts off like a charm, yo. What? Hmm, I don't know how I'm gonna swoop one of these. I'm definitely gonna though. Here we go. In for the swooper pooper. Bye bye. All right, round two of refuel. Because first round it was 40 gallons, stopped me at $100. So I'm curious if this thing doesn't hold more. I think it does. It has to. I'll have to do that and drink my coffee. Ooh. <laughs> Put another 30 gallons in the tank. I think we have 70 gallons. I don't know. It caps my debit card off every time. That's what I'm finding out. Hey, hey. Alright, on the road again. I can't wait to get back on the road again. Unnamed road in South Dakota. <laughs> 17 hours left, everybody. I'm coming from the roof. <laughs> Pretty good turn radius on this damn thing, actually. On the road again. Oh god, it looks like it's about to start raining. Alright. 14 and a half hours left, baby. Made it past the uh, halfway point. I'm going to St. Louis, baby. St. Louis, baby. You can find me in St. Louis. Let's get a little peek ski out the window. Oh, Max, he about to murk this bridge, yo, what? Damn, son, hauling ass, boy. St. Louis. You can find me in St. Louis. Where the gun play, rain all day. Some got jobs and some sell yay. Others just smoke and final bridge murder, baby. Oh, and just like that, we're in Missouri. It's easy. I have to, I, I, I am 100% positive. This is the most states I've ever been in the shortest amount of time. Like this has to be over under like, 25 states like oh we got a fellow biker baby hell yeah boy hell yeah i'd be down i'd rip it i'd rip it and rip it maybe yeah. man there's casinos should i put the rv on a on black spin it and win it baby Hey, let's go, baby! It's the Max Stream! Or should I say Maxi Stream, baby? We got another sunrise out here in Kansas, I think. I believe we're in Kansas. I honestly don't know. I'm just following the GPS. And we got one minute till we're under 10 hours, baby! We might actually make it! Oh, we might actually make it. Unless this morning has a bit of a turn. We shall see. Don't get over yet, motherfucker. I'll run your ass off the road. So, pretty stoked on it. Got the 1999 Airstream land yacht. Still ticking, still cruising. Oh my God, I've been in the car, or should I say the RV, for a very long time. It's almost uncomfortably long. Yeah, it, it's an uncomfortably long time. Do I smell burning? Hopefully not, hopefully all is good. But uh, I think I'm gonna go for four more hours today. And then I'll take a break. You know, only have six left till I get to uh, homeboy's house. <sighs> doesn't smell good. I'm just hoping that's someone else that I'm smelling right now. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, thanks for joining me on this whack AF journey. I know it's been crazy, it's been weird. And yeah, it hasn't been too fun for me. 
Literally, you know, I haven't gotten to ride, I haven't gotten to edit, I haven't gotten to do really anything but drive. Needless to say, I am uh, I'm very excited to A, get under 10 hour marker, baby. B, I'm just excited to get to South Dakota for Sturges. And the craziest part about all this is the second I get to South Dakota around 4 a.m., I'm jumping on a plane back to LA. Risty and I are both meeting there in Sturgis, so I'm not gonna see him for another two weeks. Huh. Long story short, life's good. Dang, Kansas City looks nice. Oh, these roads though, man. I'm smelling like something burning. I think it's outside. Yeah, we'll go with it's outside, baby. Actually, I don't know. I'm a little hesitant. So, God bless us all. God bless America. God bless America. Anyway, if the RV breaks down or I'm stuck again, I'll throw the camera back on. But until then, I will um, shooting for a goal of four more hours, which is a lot. That means I would have driven over. This would be a 12, 13 hour day for me. But yeah, definitely want to see this um, down to a very small number for my final trek. I want to really make sure I make it. This highway just got hella shifty, bro. I got an RV buddy too. There's actually a Class C behind me, fellow biker. Hand wave, what's up, what's up? That's like Risty's. Risty has a Class C. And uh, so you guys already know that I put a nitrous on the R6. I'm definitely going to increase the shot on that because it's not enough power. I need like something stupid. And, I don't know, so he does a nitrous on the RV, baby? I could turn this horn into a boost button. <laughs> Straight Mad Max up in this biatch. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of that idea. It's absolutely stupid, and I think it would be a great idea. i just throw the tank right in the end. You know, throw a 20 pound nitrous tank on here. <laughs> Talk about a sleeper for the keeper, man. I'd be murking everybody. Superbike gone. Anyway, I don't know how I still have energy to keep going. I am running on empty, unlike this machine, baby. This thing, I don't even know how much how it holds. I don't know how much this holds in gas. Initially, I thought it was 40 gallons, and then I put 40 gallons, then 30 gallons into it, so I was like, shoot, it has to hold 70 something gallons. And then, um, anyway, I just haven't topped off the tank yet because my debit and credit are both like limited. Maybe it's for like security purposes. I didn't tell my bank or credit card company that I'm doing some traveling. So they probably think someone's running around with my card if I uh, don't reach out soon. Anyway, not the case. I'm chilling, I'm cruising. Gorgeous sunrise again. I haven't hardly hit any rain. Besides in Florida, hardly any rain. Zero to nine. Sweet deal, sweet business. And uh, thank you everybody for doing this. Oh, and by the way, St. Louis, you have the worst effing highways I've ever came across. If anyone's ever on a motorcycle going on the highway through St. Louis, on a motorcycle, on the highways, be careful. They're insanely uneven. They're insanely sketch. This thing nearly tipped over a couple times. Kansas City, gorgeous town. So much green stuff. Like what? Californians ain't used to this green. They're used to a different green. We're about to pull up to the city of Kansas City, baby. So, I'd like to have the camera on show you guys a gorgeous sunrise in Kansas City. As we cruise through morning rush hour traffic here in Kansas City. It's a little fucking intense. Bear with me here. It's crowded, it's booming. I'm hawking in RV, in rush hour. Don't tip it. This is the one thing Maxi can't crash is his RV. He crashes his RV, the game is over. I'm done, I am done. I crashed this, I am done. There will be no rebuild our, our, our RV series. It's hard for me not to say R6 because that's all I think about when I'm rebuilding stuff. It's very, it was a very sad day with that R6 wreck, man. It was rough for me. That bike, you know like when you have a bike that's perfect for you, and like perfectly tuned, everything's working flawlessly. Oh, I had that. Yo, though, Kansas City's dope! What? Gorgeous skyline. All right, 70 West, 70 West detour. Oh my gosh. Maxi's threading needles here in the RV. Go the, oh my God, hopefully it's got the clearance for the load. I'd take off the top. Oh, we're in Missouri now? Shoot, Risty and I should be flying through these. This little spaghetti pit of interchanges. Wait, is Kansas City in Missouri? 
or Kansas. Come on, where's the detour sign, mother chuckers? Come on, Bessie, where's the juice? Hi, Kansas City, bye, Kansas City. God damn, you and freaking St. Louis belong in the worst highways in the US. Yeah, we out here. Yeah, we out here. Now, I'll tell you what, it was so funny when I bought the RV from the guy in Florida. He's like, you should wait till tomorrow, you know, make sure everything's good. I started up the RV initially. I just watched the engine temperature just go from cold to red hot. And I was like, oh God. I looked in there and I was like, I don't think there's cooling in it. Oh my Lord. Hit that turn extremely hard. He was like, stay till tomorrow morning so I can go through everything, work out all the kinks and all that. And I was like, I can't, I got a plane to catch. I gotta be in South Dakota on Tuesday. He's like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah. He's like, you want me to put some air in those tires? <laughs> I was like, give me your hose. I'm filling up this coolant. <laughs> we rocking and a rolling, baby. Nothing stopping Maxi. Murderous man, I'm getting murked over here. Just made it to Iowa, baby. Iowa. I don't know any Iowa songs, but god damn it, it's gorgeous. Look at all the cornfields, factories, and nothingness. Hi, Iowa. Bye, Iowa. All right, dudes and dudettes. Made it to a uh, rest stop here in Iowa. And uh, yeah, I'm about to go down for a bit. And then the final trek, seven and a half hours. Just wanted to show you guys these massacres of thugs. Oh, there's one right there. Yo, but straight up, it, it was a massacre. I gotta get a vacuum. I gotta get this cleaned up hardcore. But anyway, had to show you guys the slaughtering here. It's hundreds of ants. Look at that. They called in the reinforcements and they all just got murked. Oh my God, I didn't even flip this. Oh my God, it's like Auschwitz. Literally Auschwitz. Oh my gosh, there's no ants in there. Where? Interesting, interesting. I know there's more in here somewhere, so it's gonna take some good cleaning. But all right, I'm out. Oh shoot, Maxie's back up and at it. What's good, Maxie's back at it. I was flooding still, you know it, boy. This is the final part of the trip. Hopefully Maxie, hopefully myself, can make it to South Dakota and drop off the RV at the checkpoint, at the extraction point. And be Gucci, man, I'm pretty excited here. Uh, obviously, I'm pretty excited. I'm excited to be done driving. I'm excited to see my girlfriend. I'm excited to be back in civilization, have some friends around and people to talk to and editing to and shit like that, so. Thanks everyone for joining me on this journey. It's a pretty good journey. I don't think it's gonna, it's it's far from over, obviously. See, I'm still in Iowa. Ooh, it looks like Des Moines, Iowa over there. There's two buildings. Wow. This thing needs a subwoofer, baby! But baby, baby! But baby, baby! Uh, uh, uh. Alright, Maxie needs to take a shower, I think. Alright, gotta gas her up. What's good? What's up? Man, it was pop, it was crack! Y'all yeah, know we're in the Maxi unit, baby! Mama Maxi, you know it. You know it. You show it, I grow it, baby. Eh eh. How about a little full speed highway entry? Full send. Three, two, one. That's all she's got. All right, we are seven, T minus seven hours until arrival, baby! I just wanted to give you guys a little, an informal invite. As you guys know, Risty and I bought, each bought an RV and we're gonna be traveling the country, the United States, riding everywhere we can, staying where the weather's nice, riding with all you guys, doing tons of meetups, 
and uh, we're gonna be living out of RVs. So I wanna invite anyone who's down, maybe you're retired, maybe you have plenty of money, maybe you're sick of your current life and situation to uh, buy an RV, throw your bike on the back of it and come along with us. We're more than uh, more than happy to have anyone and everyone along for the ride. So, and we could also use the company. I mean, it, it would be an incredible time and I think the more the merrier. So, if you guys are interested, uh, just hit us up, man. You know where to find us. Ditch your life, get an RV and start a new one. Why not? I love you guys. So it'd be dope to have you guys along. All right, haven't gotten one of these yet, so I'm getting in now. We got a sunset, final sunset of this trip, of this adventure. I cannot, not, cannot believe the trip was almost over. The impossible has been done. And uh, yeah, Boston across the country for uh, seven days straight. Pretty good. But I'm um, in Nebraska now, less than five hours away from final destination. Couldn't be more stoked. I'm very, I'm quite positive. There's no more police on this road. If there are, they're not coming for me. So appreciate you guys for watching this entire trip. I will turn it on again if something does happen that's current is that you guys got to see. But if not, thank you guys for everything, guys and gals. Don't forget, we got to go fund me to help us uh, travel and use as an emergency fund if we are to break down or whatever. So. Anyone who ever hit that and donated, thank you so much. I'll start giving you guys shout outs once I know everyone's name on there is already given. But um, thank you, Dana. Thank you, Max. Thank you guys for everything. So I checked my MPG on the last stop and it said I got three and a half miles to the gallon. I'm kind of wondering if all cylinders aren't firing here. I believe that would be one reason for uh, horrible gas mileage. Less than three hours left. 106 miles before I start snaking turns. Anyway, it's a crazy lightning storm up ahead that I have been watching and it's quite interesting. Hopefully I can catch some dopeness. Yeah, like that. I don't understand the lightning bolts that I don't see hit the ground. They just stay up in the clouds. Is that common? I thought it has to have a, a base, something to latch onto. What? They're just staying in the clouds. There you go again, in the clouds. Yo, I got this crazy video of what I think is a UFO. When I was on a flight home from um, like back to LA, it was like over Colorado or something, Nevada, I don't remember. But it was, it was really weird. We had to go around it in the plane and it was big. Yeah, I'm curious, you guys wanna see that. I'll put it up in the cards for you guys to vote on. Obviously, if it's more, uh, more yes than no, I will obviously release it, but. You guys don't want to see that, I understand. I will keep it to myself, but uh, yeah, go ahead, vote for that now, it's in the cards. I mean, so the whole span of this thing is like the entire horizon that I'm going towards. I don't notice it stopping at all. Like, up there, that's in the clouds. Again, that was huge, up in the clouds. I didn't see a single lightning bolt. I know there's this thing called heat lightning, but I uh, also heard that's a load of BS. It's like not a thing. I don't know. This stuff to me is weird. And I mean, I grew up in the Midwest. I was always around thunderstorms. would see lightning all the time. But stuff like this is weird. Here I go, just heading into it. No one's out here, literally, I'm the only one. No service. So if I get abducted, all you'll have is my GoPro footage and my last few words thinking this is some alien. What am I driving into? I'm getting nervous now. 90 more miles in this direction. Not gonna lie. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this sh seems fake. I'm just stealing our energy. Wow. <laughs> I'm going in, man. See, the white lightning, I understand, okay? But when there's like purple and orange, I can't drive into this. All right, guys, well, this is it. Hopefully, Maxi makes it through. If he doesn't, at least you guys have a good video. I definitely need to open the windows. So if I don't, this thing might actually tip over. Oh boy, my windshield wipers don't work, so here goes nothing. Powers, oh, don't get struck by, I need to wear my shoes. Oh, I fear my life. 
I'm gonna die, I'm listening to music. This is beyond gnarly. My heart's racing. I've never been this scared, honestly. Come on, stay straight. Don't get the rocks. Oh, oh, oh no. The dude, he has to be like, oh God, Max, he didn't make it. And I'm driving a goddamn RV. If I was in my Civic, I'd be murking this. But this thing's taller than it is wide. I want my highway to hell. What a absolute cap to this trip. I didn't think I'm getting out of it maybe. This is worse than a hurricane. Well, that was worse than a hurricane. I mean, it's definitely like, definitely out of the heaviest part, so. But man, this lightning is insane. Numerous times, it's gone from far left across the entire horizon like and, and it's just like there's a little that was little okay oh my god why did this whole mission have to be mission impossible it's literally maxi impossible impossible maxi here oh my god 
I am still just shook, shock, shooky, shook, shook, the shaked up. Dude, that's been intense, man. I think I can go a solid 50 now and cruise it from here on out. At least that's what I'm hoping. Yeah, that's a house. Big trucking, big rig trucking. That lightning bolt was effing huge. Yo, Loki, that lightning bolt was probably 40 miles long. Like what in the hell? I don't think you guys understand how big this is. Like, that's like a hundred miles. Like at least, like that was insane. It was like, bah, 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 bah. I've just never seen lightning go sideways for hundreds of miles. Like that was, like what in the I am oddly confused with what has happened. Yo, I don't care what anyone else says. There's UFOs. Straight up. Like that was a astronomical amount of energy. Astronomical amount of energy. Like it's not even fathomable. Like you, you can't understand how much energy was just given off there in all that light. It was probably upwards of like a thousand years worth of electricity for New York City literally like each lightning bolt I can't I can't even explain it. it's just it's basically an infinite amount of energy that was just thrown out there into our atmosphere that one was weird but it's not just the fact that it was just you know it's just thrown out into our atmosphere it's not like it's hitting the ground it's not like it's you know What was that one? Yo, I'm gonna be staring at these videos and analyzing them for a minute, but I don't know. You gotta be pretty naive to think, like, look at that. One cloud over there just murking. Look, just imagine a UFO in there, over there. Literally, I thought I saw it. Same spot. Boom, boom, that was a circular lightning bolt. That was like a ball of lightning. Look at that, same spot, same spot, same spot, same spot, same cloud. I grew up in lightning storms, uh, thunderstorms, whatever you want to call them. And A, you would hear the lightning hit the ground. Like I haven't heard a single rumble, like none of that. Like look, it's just the clouds are lighting up now. Just show you a little better without this. Am I wrong? Look at that! Look at that! It's like a freaking... Like to think all this energy is getting dispersed right here in this small little area and beings from elsewhere aren't wanting to harvest this energy. This is enough energy to travel millions of light years. I, that's the kind of energy it is. I mean, yeah, maybe all of this energy combined takes, you know, that's how much it takes just to get. Well, everybody, I think this is it. Baby, Maxi made it to the final destination. I can't believe it. I'm in shock. I'm shook. The RV is not totaled. Maxi is literally shook. The fact that I made it here on time, didn't crash, RV still works. I am 
shot, but here's the ultimate test. Oh, that ain't it. Looks like I'm going to that little city of lights out there. Hopefully I don't get abducted. Thanks everybody who watched all these episodes, came along for the ride, you guys kicked seriously. Like, the fact that you're willing to watch me drive this RV across the country, obviously I make it very interesting because I am, I'm persistent. So you know I'm not gonna give up. When push comes to shove, when t times get a tough, I push it harder. You already know it. And everyone, thank you everyone who's hit up the GoFundMe and helped Risty and I make this trip come to life. You guys kick. Thanks everyone who's on Facebook watching our videos. Couldn't have done it without your support on there either. Patrons, huge shout out. There's uh, some dope sh coming on the R1, baby. I'm excited about it. I should be able to uh, tinker with it a bit next week, so. And um, besides that, thank you, everybody. Nothing like a final off-road adventure to figure out if everything is tight on this RV. You know? One of these rumbles could just knock something off, no problem. I should have hit it with some speed. Wow. Weirdest lightning storm I've ever been through. I'm, obviously, I'm gonna clickbait the hell out of this and say, like, Maxi Battles an Alien Mothership or something. I don't know. But, uh... Shoot, going over to Chris, Christopher, that's who's out here. I'm excited to see him, meet him. And uh, yeah, thanks again everyone for the support. I don't know what else to say. Besides that, I could let the camera roll for a bit. Why not, I guess. I will make sure to charge the camera so I can record the final trip on, baby. Oh Lord. I hope you guys come out to Sturgis, say what's up to Risky and I. I don't know if we're going to be staying in Sturgis, but we'll definitely be there for the uh, festivities. We'll turn up a bit. You know we will. And uh, I will have the RV with me as well. So if you guys want to check out the maxi unit, it should be there, honestly, as long as she starts back up. I still have a mile. I still have 1.2 miles on this road. All right. It's time to hit it with a little speed. Yo. This community is out here, in the middle of nowhere. Fingers crossed that uh, I'm not driving into some cannibalistic community over here and get chopped up and served on a platter. Hopefully they ain't a bunch of Max Riss haters. But we will find out very soon. 